Hi, it's Trisha here and in this video I wanted to give you a super quick win and I'm going to show you how to design and build a checkout page in less than five minutes using Thrivecart. Now Thrivecart has some very simple checkout pages already built into the system but this one I'm going to show you some of the logic behind it so that if you see something online and you really like it take a screenshot and you can recreate it for yourself and this is really easy you don't need to be a tech person to do this I'm not a tech person I enjoy playing around with these things and learning and that's why I create these videos to help other people like yourself and other entrepreneurs in the online world so let's get started this is a five minute challenge for me to design and build a checkout page in Thrivecart and show you now the only preparation work I have done before this is uh, collecting some images, some dummy in images, some dummy text that I can use. I'm already logged into my Thrivecart account. I'm up to the section where I need to create a page from scratch, so I haven't done any work on the page at all. And the very last thing is I found a simple page that I can use as a go by, as a template, so I can more or less mimic how it looks. And you're going to see how I do this and how you can do it as well. Now, complete disclosure I haven't practiced this I've just jumped in now and I'm creating it on the go so if I can make this on the fly I know you can as well this video is for you if you're already using Thrivecart and you want higher converting checkouts or perhaps if you are considering getting Thrivecart and you've been looking at different videos on YouTube and you're just not sure whether or not it's going to be easy to use I think you'll find this super easy if you haven't already purchased Thrivecart I have an affiliate link in the description below. I'd be super grateful if you click that link and use it to buy Thrivecart because I earn a small commission and from that commission allows me to use that money to produce these videos for free for you and for everyone else. So thank you very much. Let's move on. Now, this is the design I'm going to replicate. There are two things in this design I really want you to learn about. These are two separate designs. The one on the right, in the purple box we're not doing that one we're only doing one design today and it's the one on the left here when you're looking at any design online um, Thrivecart has four standard layouts we're going with the original standard which is the one on the left there are there's two sections there's the green box and the green box is the middle main part of the page and then there's the red section on the right here and this is like a side column now each part of this layout can is interchangeable so you can have the image on in the green section or the red section or in both sections you can have the testimonials in both sections you can have a lot of content in the green section and very little in the red section it doesn't really matter these if you imagine it as columns and rows and blocks so you literally collect a piece of a template and you drop it in you populate it and fill it out and that's what we're going to do so next step is to go over to Thrivecart I'll show you a blank template where I'm starting and then you can see how easy it is to put together and you can do this yourself I'm really hoping that I can change a screen over easy yep here we go all right here I am in Thrivecart this is a dummy demonstration so I've picked out some dummy products with some dummy pricing take no notice of that all I'm doing here is explaining to you how to do it so I'm going to time myself 7 28 p.m. all right let's go so I'm picking the standard I'm going to launch the editor now as you can see there are two columns we were looking at this before we were looking at the column in the center and the column on the right now what I can see here is that they have contact information we can edit this yes um, save I'm just going to go ahead you can fast forward this to the very end first name last name country okay payment information Uh, so I'm moving things around you just drag and drop you grab what you want and you push it up and down we've got payment information 
we have the upsell. Um, he has just changed his text here. Buy now. Add an, now this is optional. You can have an image or not. So let's just add any old image. Okay, the next section we need are the testimonial. So let's see what we can do here. Grab the testimonial, put it below. We're going to add a photo, upload an image. So these are some dummy ones. I have made two testimonials, one on a white background and one is on a clear background. I'm just going to try the white one first and see how that works. When you're making your own page, you may like to try doing a few different things. And then we add a text, Amy, Amy, let's call her. And I'll go back to Okay, you can either duplicate this by clicking here or grabbing another testimonial button from here. So let's make this easy for us. Change the image. Okay, fantastic. Let's see what else we have. Okay, we have image, image. All right, we are done. That is complete. So obviously it's not very beautiful because I haven't put things in the, um, nothing here is matching. This is a book and this is a picture of a Christmas present. But if you were doing this for yourself, you could add in the right images. It's pretty straightforward. Now, there's a few things you may like to change. If this was a real page, perhaps you might like to change this green color to another color, and that's really easy to do. Um, all you need to do is click here, anywhere near that green button, go down to the color section here, and let's go for purple, because everything else is purple. So let's also try and make this color purple. There we go, that's nice. Let's make this purple. If you want to add in your own hex colors, you can do that by typing in at the top here. All right, and I might like to make this text a bit smaller. Maybe a bit stronger, there we are. Text size on the left-hand side here, so we can change that. And then we have one more green section here. Let's also make this a, a variation of purple. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. So let's go next. Now, um, when you go to the, this is actually what a checkout page or the invoice success page looks like. You should design this as well. Let me put something in that I've created before, just to give you an idea. Now this is where I would put a logo image and I'm pretty sure in here somewhere I do have a logo image that we can use. There we go, let's try that one. Okay, and then we may also want to tidy this up and put something else in. Maybe a text. Of course, you will probably have much more interesting words to add in here, but at least you can do that.
and I'd like to change this to purple because everything else is purple. It's important when you're working on your sales page that your colors are consistent because if someone is checking out on one page and it's very different to the next page, they might be thinking that they're on the wrong section or that it's a bit of a spammy thing. So just try and be consistent. Okay, I think that looks pretty much like a, um, a page that is complete. Um, what I have done in the past, I'm just going to go back into this now to show you. So this is complete success page. What I have done in the past is I have added some columns to the bottom of the checkout page. And in this section, I have put in things like a subheading, um, support, contact support. And then in here, Okay. All right. So, um, these pictures don't really fit, but at least you can sort of see with the layout of a success page, you can change it around, you can add things in, um, you could move things down, you could move this up literally up higher, you can delete one column, you can delete an element, even if you've added in, you can delete the whole thing if you want. And now we're back to beginning. So we're all done. If you want to take a look at the other videos I've put up, they go into a lot more detail. I hope you found this helpful and you give it a go. If you're interested in seeing what types of designs are out there, lots of people are selling templates for Thrivecart. You can purchase one of their templates and import it, or you can simply create your own by playing around with it. Thank you and have a great day.